United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah, all right, there you go. Okay. Thank you. I'll make that motion. I'll second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Opportunity for the public to opportunity for the public to address the board agenda items only. Okay, thank you. Uh, ordinance. First reading, two two zero one eight six. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is the first reading of ordinance two seven eight. Whereas Lackawanna County imposes an annual tax and assessed value of real property located within the county, and whereas Lackawanna County's property owners typically have until March 15th to pay their tax bill in, or in, in full in order to receive a 2% discount of their real property tax with the face value tax amount due between March 16th and June 30th, and a 10% penalty being imposed on taxes after July 1st through the end of the year. And whereas for the 2022 tax year, the Lackawanna County Assessor's Office experienced issues related to its new software, whereby property transactions that occurred between August 14th, 2021 and December 31st, 2021 were not reflected in the data used to create the 2022 tax bills. And whereas the lack of accurate data resulted in some property owners not receiving their 2022 tax bills in a timely manner. And whereas under Pennsylvania law, a failure to receive a tax notice does not relieve a taxpayer from the payment of those taxes. And whereas the Board of Commissioners wishes to give impacted 2022 taxpayers an opportunity similar to the opportunity of non-impacted 2022 taxpayers to pay their tax and fee obligations at a discount and at face value. Now, therefore, be, be it enacted and ordained by the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna, Pennsylvania, it is, and it is hereby enacted by the Board of the County as follows. Section 1, definitions. <clears throat> Impacted tax. Any 2022 real property tax, including the educational tax and library tax, subsection 1, that is owed to the County of Lackawanna for property located within, in, within the county, and 2, that is directly impacted by the software issues at the Lackawanna County Assessor's Office, primarily related to property transactions between August 14, 2021, and December 31st, 2021, and three, for which a 2022 tax bill was not sent by the Scranton Single Tax Office prior to June 30th, 2022, or for which the 2022 tax bill sent by the single Scranton Single Tax Office prior to June 30th, 2022, was not sent to the correct recipient. Section two, the timeline, subsection A, for the, for the year 2022 only, the 2% real property tax discount may still apply to impacted taxes that are paid in full by August 31st, 2022, subsection B. For the year 2022 only, impacted taxes may be satisfied at face value if paid in full by September 30th, 2022. Subsection C, for any portion of, of any impacted tax not paid in full by September 30th, 2022, any penalty and or interest shall be assessed pursuant to the timelines for 2022 real property taxes that are not considered impacted taxes. Accordingly, penalty and or interest may be assessed as having begun accruing prior to October 1st, 2022. Section three, the process. The city of Scranton tax collector as the head of the single tax office or their designee upon ad advisement of their solicitor shall make determinations about whether an individual real property tax or refuse fee continues to, as impacted tax for the purposes of this ordinance. Section four, limitation. The or this ordinance shall not apply to delinquent taxes or any other taxes or fees other than those 2022 real county property taxes specifically identified herein. Section five, severability. If any section, clause, provision, or portion of this ordin ordinance shall be invalid or in unconstitutional by any court of competent jurisdiction, such decisions shall not affect any other section, clause, provision, or portion of this ordinance, ordinance so long as it remains legally enforceable minus the invalid portion. The county reserves the right to amend this ordinance, ordinance or any portion thereof from time to time as it shall deed advisable to be the best interest in the promotion of the purposes and intent of this ordinance and the effective administration thereof. 
Section 6, the effective, effective date. This ordinance shall become effective immediately upon approval. Commissioners, we will have a special meeting within a week on, I believe it's on the 27th, right. to do the second reading of this ordinance, and then it will go into effect. So it does not require a vote at this point. That's the first reading, and uh, the next time we read it, we will vote upon it. Thank you, Mr. Jeffers. Resolution 220187, approving the current payables. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approved the following payables. The Lackawanna County's general fund numbers 343999-344842, uh, <coughs> totaling $4,970,060.23. The electronic fund transfers, including all payroll accounts, totaling $5,845,198.93. Adopted the regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County, held on July 20th, 2022. Mr. Chairman. Okay. Anyone have any questions? I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 220183. Approving uh, the Area Agency on Aging Amended Agreement. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does hereby approve the amended scholarship fund agreement with Lackawanna College, 501 Vine Street, Scranton, to provide post-secondary educational opportunities. Adopted the regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on July 20th, 2022. Mr. Chairman, here to speak upon that is our Director of the Area Agency on Aging, Mr. Jason Kavulich. Jason? Good morning, everyone. Uh, Good morning. This, this is an amendment to a previously approved agreement that we have with Lackawanna College. It's one of our workforce development uh, initiatives that we have to help lessen the shortage of personal care assistance in Lackawanna County to, to the senior residents that we serve. We found that the language that we originally agreed upon was a little more restrictive than we needed to make the program work. So uh, Lackawanna College and, and the Area Agency on Aging are coming back with some language changes that will open it up so that we can serve more people and we can get more people into the program. Anyone have any questions for Jason? I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Resolution 220184. Entering into the Borough Cooperation Agreements. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna is hereby authorized to enter into cooperation agreements with the Borough of German and Jessup for the German Borough Head Start Playground Equipment Replacement Project and the Jessup Borough Building ADA Restrooms and Automatic Door Project. Be it further resolved, the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna is hereby award the following Community Development Block Grant Construction Contracts for the German Borough Head Start Playground Equipment pl Replacement Project and for the Borough of Jessup Borough Building ADA Restrooms and Automatic Door Project. Number one, German Borough General Construction is awarded to Chalewski Enterprises LLC 16043SR407 to Box 203 Fleetwood, Pennsylvania 18420, the lowest, most responsible, and qualified bidder for $144,770. Item two, the Jessup Borough General Construction. To the Sean Burns Construction, 349 Rear North Main Street in Dixon City, Pennsylvania, the lowest, most responsible and qualified bidder for $69,000. Adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County, held on July 20th, 2022. Mr. Chairman, here to speak upon that is our CGB Director, Ms. Peg Picotti. Hi, guys. Um, I'm just here to speak about the German Borough Head Start Program equipment replacement project and the German, the Jessup Borough Building ADA restrooms and automatic door project. Um, these are just standard CDBG requirements that we pass each time we have a project within a municipality. Okay. Anybody have any questions? For nope. Peg? No. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Another question? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Resolution 220185. Approving provider contracts for the office of BHIDEI. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners Lackawanna County does hereby approve the provider contracts between the Department of Human Services, Lackawanna, Susquehanna Behavioral Health, Intellectual Disabilities, Early Intervention Program, and their providers for fiscal year 2022 through 2023, with allocations totaling $14,907,512 as attached here too. Adopted the regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on July 20th, 2022. Mr. Chairman, here to speak about that as the program administrator, Ms. Marianne Colbert. Good Mar morning, Marianne. Good morning, commissioners. Uh, for your approval this morning, the fiscal year 2022-2023 contracts 
We hope to serve approximately 18,837 people in Lackawanna and Susquehanna counties. Approximately 13,000 of those people live in Lackawanna County. And we will have contracts with 46 human service providers to meet the needs of the citizens. Some of the highlights of the contracted services attached free review, housing and support for people with mental illness, a forensic residential treatment facility program for adults with mental illness and criminal justice system involvement, emergency and crisis services, day services for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and autism, employment services, forensic case management, case management, and services for children, infants and toddlers, birth to age three, occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy, special instruction. Essentially, the uh, contract amounts for the upcoming fiscal year are flat funded. Uh, we have um, encountered flat funding across all service lines for 13 plus fiscal years, but we are doing our best to continue to serve the citizens, managing the dollars that we receive efficiently and effectively. And thank you for your support. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Okay. Anyone have any questions? I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. motion. Second. Second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, opportunity for the public to address the board. Good morning, commissioners. Good morning, Bob Ball of Scranton. And I'm here today because as I travel around the country and keep reading the Times reports, about what's going on in our community, orchestrated by Commissioner Dominic. A while ago, and Commissioner, correct me if I'm wrong, I filed a right to know on you on an altercation you had in Dunmore with the Dunmore Police Department where you were arrested, taken to the county jail. I filed a right to know with both the county prison and with the Dunmore Police, and I was told you told them they cannot do anything and they could not give us any information without your exact permission. I'm sitting here watching what you have been doing and I find it as an embarrassment to all of us. One thing I believe you forgot is you work for us, we don't work for you. And your responsibility is to be truthful to the people of this community. And you haven't done that. A seasoned attorney, and I employ a bunch of them, that cannot remember where a damn key came from is an absurd absurdity. I don't even know what other words to put it into, that you cannot remember where the hell this key came from. And the thousands of dollars we're spending on this absurdity created by you, we could spend that money at the prison, giving the prisoners pillows, which were neglected for. I was there, I didn't get a pillow. But yet you're costing us thousands and thousands of dollars because you can't remember a seasoned professional attorney. If I had an attorney like that in my employee, they'd been gone a long time ago because they couldn't remember facts, they shouldn't be doing anything else. I'm asking you today to either come clean on what happened in Dunmore with the police department, the prison, where the key is and who gave it to you, and put this matter to rest. And if you can't do that, I'm asking that you resign your seat and move on to where you could hide and do whatever you want to do. But you're not going to hide from us anymore. It's unconscionable that you could think you could BS us and spend our money in this county when the high cost of living is going on and we're squandering thousands of dollars because of your lies and your inability okay. to tell the truth. And that's what you're here for. You made your point, Mr. Bull. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? I'd like to see your resignation at the end of the day. Joan Hodawana, Scranton. Uh, this morning I was going through my files on county issues and I came across an old article by Chris Kelly from March 16th, but it raises some serious questions which still need to be answered. I want to know what the policy is for promoting county employees. 
He wrote about an individual who was hired in February of 2020, promoted in June, and promoted again in August. That individual's salary increased by over $9,000. So my question for you is, how are people promoted? Are they based on written performance evaluations? Who makes the decision? <clears throat> Nobody knows? Oh, well, I'll be putting in a right to know request because you have so many qualified county employees who do excellent work and are deserving at, at the opportunity for promotion. And you read this, and this person is either Superman and a walker on water, or something is not right for someone to get that kind of promotion history in only seven months. How was the person hired? Was it an, an open uh, notification for people to be hired? Was it an inside deal? It's very, very suspicious to me. So the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to know is, do you have a written promotion policy? How do you evaluate employees? How do they compete? Who decides who gets promoted? Does it go all the way up to uh, the commissioners, the salary board, a department head, HR? How is it done? It should be done fairly and based on merit and performance that has been documented and nothing else. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay, Commissioner's other business, Mr. Shermack. We got one. Oh, we got one. Good morning. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, my name is Robert Edmiston. I'm from Peckville. Uh, earlier this week, I emailed uh, you, ma'am, Mr. Natariani, Mr. Shermack, and the, uh, I believe your chief of staff, and no one returned my, no one answered, no one read my email, no one returned my email. I was an employee of the Lackawanna County 911 Center, and my, uh, I was terminated, my rights were violated, because in reprisal for making a complaint to human resources about a supervisor there who threatened me. Um, also want to bring to your attention uh, egregious conditions at that facility where. Well, I'll answer that to a point. One, it's a personnel issue. We're not about to discuss it here. Okay. And number two, it's a state of the art facility and it's very difficult to get qualified being the key word 911 operators. Well, sir, I just, I'm a 45 year veteran of emergency services in Lackawanna County. I spent 25 years as a, an adult educator. Again, it's a personnel issue. We're not about to get into this conversation. But, but I will comment as well. I did receive your email. And I did too. the accusations in the email, I immediately turned over to the chief of staff and our HR department um, because we have solicitors that will handle that situation. That was not a situation for me to stick my hands into. So I have turned it over to the HR department. Yeah. They're aware. Well, I would like to bring to your attention uh, uh, the egregious conditions that exist in that organization. Managers who are grossly incompetent. Again, we're getting into a personnel issue. Uh, we'll be glad to speak with you. You can speak well, to Well, no, no, these are issues that the, that the county, okay. that, the, that the people- Well, and be, that, because that's your are. opinion that they are. Well, that yeah, doesn't make I'm, it, that doesn't I'm, make I'm a, a fact. I'm a subject matter expert in those, yeah. okay. in those yeah. issues. Okay. Robert, can you spell your last name for me? E-D-M-I-S-T-O-N, first name Robert. E-D-M-I-S-T-O-N? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I, I did not see your email on my desk, but I will look for it. Thank you. I will too. But you, you have an organization that is being run by so-called managers that are grossly incompetent. You have people that are teaching new 911 dispatchers how to be 911 dispatchers who have no credibility and are grossly incompetent, and they nev have never even attended a educational methodology course. 
You yeah. have wasteful spending. Yeah. You have energy that's being squandered. You have dispatchers that are being forced to work mandatory overtime over and over and over again. You have, it's a, the, the door there is a revolving door where there's more people that leave that come in because the reputation of the organization is trash. Well, part of the problem is we don't actually pay enough. We've gone through this for years and um, <clears throat> a lot of the people that go through the training aren't capable of doing that particular job. Uh, they, we train them, we hire them, and they go on to other places. Again, I'm not about to get into this conversation with you any longer. I'll be glad to talk to you privately, but that's where I'm at on it. Well, the, the people of Lackawanna County need to know. And, and, we, and that's my opinion, and that's your opinion, okay? And I disagree with you. Thank you for your, the opportunity Thank you. to speak. Kelly, I'm here for the Times Tribune. Uh, Commissioner Dominic, you were caught in an apparent lie uh, last week when, when you sent Frank Ruggiero out with the statement denying the allegations that Mark Powell made in his in his civil filing. And uh, I guess the answer, the question for you is, did you lie? The evidence that came out later contradicted entirely what you what you said in your statement. I, w I would like you to address that. Chris, if I had a quarter for every time that you called me a liar, I'd be rich right now. So I'm not going to sit here and be insulted by you again and I'm again asking, and again when I read about myself in the news. Your statement does not. Square I did with the not facts. lie. I released a statement, and I'm not going to comment on ongoing on an ongoing lawsuit. Anything that occurs during that lawsuit will be public, and you can get your answers with regard to that then. Okay, just to be clear, my but question I'm done, is not I'm about done the being lawsuit. called a liar, not, and this is not for you to insult me on a consistent basis. It is not my goal to insult oh, you. It, it is. is my goal to it's hold you accountable and for the words that you put out. Okay. It was your statement. Job. I'm here to discuss your statement, my not My statement the suit. was that I believe that the truth and the veracity of the allegations, I, 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 I challenge those. And you I, challenge those. Yes. So they're false. I believe that there are numerous false allegations contained within that complaint. I cannot talk beyond that. Are there any true I'm allegations? Okay. Litigation. okay. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Find someone else to pick on. Any, anyone else? Okay. No. Commissioner's other business. Mr. Okay. Shermack. Well, first of all, being a first responder pretty much all my life, I'm pretty well versed in what goes on at the 9 1 Center. I spend a lot of time at the 9 1 Center. We have good people there. And yes, they are understaffed, but that's not just in Lackawanna County, that's nationwide. So mandatory overtime, that's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is right now because we don't have enough people. Now we have gotten quite a bit applicants. of uh, applica applicants this, this last now. week, over 30, getting close to 40, which is almost unheard of late. So hopefully that's gonna solve itself. As far as the, um, the 9-1 Center itself, I think they do a, 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 an excellent job. They're, they're totally understaffed, even at the administrative level. Um, good friend, Dave Hahn, was there. He did a great job running that place. He's not there anymore. Um, the folks that are there now, they have to handle not only the 9-1 Center itself, any emergencies that come up, EMA, floods, disasters, assisting police departments, and, and and things that are going on throughout the county. So being so understaffed, I think they do a great job. And I'll, I'll step over to the prison side. We hear a lot of negativity. It's a cesspool. It's this, it's that. Well, guess what? I go over there quite a bit, too. We have great people that work there. They work hard. It's not a nice place to work. I would not want to work there. But I can tell you the guys that work there and the girls that work there do a super, super job. They deal with a lot of issues every day. And you gotta remember, these are the folks that volunteer at our fire companies. These are the folks that coach our kids in their sports teams and all the things that go on in the community. Those are the people that work there. I think they do a good job. I can't let a couple bad actors ruin it for the majority of the people. And then even here at the county, we have excellent people that work at this county. Before I became a commissioner, I had no idea what went on in this building. Well, I can tell you, 
These departments are not overstaffed. Most of them are understaffed. Most of them are underpaid in the, in the grand scheme of things on what people get paid throughout this country. They do a good job. They do a very good job. Our sheriff's department do a very good job. They're all over. There's buildings all over. They're at the prison. They're over here. They're at the courthouse. They do a great job. So I have to, you know, speak up on their behalf. It's not all, it's not all bad news here. I come to work every day through a pandemic. Came to work every day. Our chief of staff came to work, comes to work every day. It's always a race. Who's going to be here first, me or Brian? But it's usually Brian. Jerry's here. I, you know, we're here all the time doing county business. That's what we do every day. Um, you know, again, I can't let one, two, three, or a handful of bad actors ruin it for everybody else. There's a lot goes on here. It's a big county, um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of money that we deal with every day. We're trying to help everyone. Our Veterans Affairs Office, I don't have the numbers in front of me. Um, Dave was here, but he's gone now. I mean, he does an unbelievable job. It's, it's him and two other th three people in his office. That's it to do everything that they do every single day, treating thousands and thousands of veterans. And he does a, an unbelievable job doing it. So, you know, a lot of good stuff goes on. I take my job very serious. It, it's an honor to me to, for me to be a commissioner here. Our, I don't know what else to say. Our, our Human Services Department, great job. They're dedicated people. They work 24 hours, seven days a week. You know, along with me, I'm, I'm out every day, every night, every weekend. This is what goes on. Um, so there's good things too. That's what I just made my point. So thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Dominic. I'm going to keep it brief. Um, I do care about our residents and what they um, have to pay. <coughs> um, I didn't raise taxes uh, during my administration, if everybody recalls. I worked very hard last year um, to reduce the deficit and did so by I think 2.7 million dollars between cutting expenses and uh, bringing in a uh, a large sum lump sum payment from a, a, a contract with the vendor at the prison. I do care about our inmates and our residents. Um, for two years, I made many improvements at the prison for the benefit of both the inmates and our our county employees to protect them. Um, as for the onslaught of in insults by Mr. Bol Bolus. I always consider the source of any insult before I respond. So having said that, I have no comment. Okay, thank you. All right, I'll uh, just uh, agree that Commissioner Shermack, that there are a lot of good people that work in Lackawanna County. And we, they are overworked in many cases. Uh, the 911 center is, has been a, a concern and it has, it's nationwide. Uh, we were grieved by the union for increasing their pay. We're giving them more money and the union grieved us. We were able to be successful in that. Uh, we, we have a large class coming in. They can only train 10 at a time. Of the 10 that they train, probably only four will make it that are capable of doing the job. It's a tough job, uh, but it's a nationwide problem. It's not like one a county problem. It's a state problem. It's, it's something that happens all over the country. Um, I, uh, again, it's, uh, it's, it's a complex system. It's, uh, it's a great place to, uh, to work and a lot of nice people. And on that note, I'll make a, entertain a motion to adjourn. Mr. Chairman, very quickly, when, when, just so the public knows, when you, what the board is going to meet again for the salary board after this, yeah. when the board votes to approve the SEIU contract, everyone that's talking about the salaries that are low will be going up. Okay, but, including the 911 center, which is taking steps. We, we you have we've been taken working steps. on it. Yes, it's, yeah. it's, it's, that's it's, why there's 31 applicants. And, and again, we, we can't compete with the public, or the private sector. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're searching for a CFO, and the difference between the, the, the salaries that the county can offer and, and the uh, private sector is unbelievable. We had a great young guy that worked for us. He's just got a promotion. The other, uh, he just got a promotion the other day. He's got, a, you know, he's. He's going to make twice what he would have made here. Uh, he, and it's, it's just the way it is. But again, we can't afford that. Um, and we can't raise taxes, and we can't afford to pay sometimes some people what they deserve. All right, on that notion, I'll entertain a motion to approve, to adjourn. Motion. Second. On the question, all in favor, aye. Thank aye. you. Aye.